Good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our celebration of the Easter Sunday Mass. The joy of the resurrection fills our hearts and urges us to share it with all our brothers and sisters. Something wonderful has happened not only to Jesus, but also to us. We have risen to a new life. To lead us in this joyful celebration is Father Victor Gonzaga, OSA, the Chairman of the Advisory Board of Spring Rain Global. Let us come together and sing our opening hymn. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our saints. Together, I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my you brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. So I ask the blessed name all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Oh, 
Let us pray. God, our Father, by raising Christ your Son, you conquer the power of death and open for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives by the Spirit that is within us. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading. Jesus' resurrection is the essence of the good news brought by Peter to Cornelius. On this truth depend our salvation and all that we believe about God's incarnates. A proclamation from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed 
by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. These men God raised on the third day and granted that he be seen, not by all the people, but by us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witnesses that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. My brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is Repeat the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This Response. is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Response. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has, his been, has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Response. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Today, St. Paul reminds us that the resurrection of Christ should be reflected in our behavior. The second reading. A proclamation from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the ancient poet, let us proclaim the joy of Mary Magdalene at Jesus' resurrection. Christians, to the paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended. In that combat stupendous, the prince of life who died reigns immortal. Fear Mary, declaring what you Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring the tomb of Christ, who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and the napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life of painting. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia.
I could not uh, clearly see it, Maya. Can you make it bigger? I could not read it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you. Now on the first day after the Sabbath, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. And she saw that the stone blocking the tomb had been moved away. She ran to Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved. And she said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they had laid him. Peter then set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen clothes lying flat, but he did not enter. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and entered the tomb. He too saw the linen clothes lying flat. The napkin which had been around his head, was not lying flat like the other linen clothes, but lay rolled up in its place. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. Scripture clearly said that Jesus must rise from the dead but they had not yet understood that. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter to everyone. Indeed, I have plenty of reasons to be grateful to God and to be very happy. In this journey of 
the entire land. I was personally and sincerely preparing myself for this very day, the Easter, the feast of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am overwhelmed by the goodness of God, by the graces of God showered upon me and in the lives of the people I cared so much. We had a very beautiful journey with our Lenten fasting. Last night, when I was celebrating, I just actually, I just arrived from a one hour and 30 minute trip from a very far barangay here in Davao Oriental. There I celebrated masses since Thursday. And last night, I broke my fast after we celebrated the Easter Vigil. It was really a moment of grace. I have a lot of things that I realized and I see my life with so much giftedness from God. I have felt that I'm blessed by God in so many ways. In the same manner, I am sincerely convinced that in one way or the other, I have also blessed few, I hope many, people around me, creating a special opportunity, a healthy environment for them to be closer to God. In our Lenten journey, I felt I'm blessed because mentally speaking, I have learned a lot about the different saints that were being shared by our beloved speakers and facilitators. I have witnessed myself in a hurry if I celebrate mass or if I had meetings or if I go to a certain place and I really need to go back to a place or to our convent in order to spend time, a holy hour, with you in the celebration of our Lenten journey. Yesterday also, last Saturday, uh, actually last Friday from 11.30 p.m. until about 3 in the morning, we had our El Camino, a 15.2-kilometer walk in the middle of the night, as if the way of the cross last Friday, the processions, the prayers, the liturgy of the word were not enough. I felt so blessed that physically I have endured all those things. Personally, I offer that to God for, for giving me so much blessings in my life and in the lives of those people I cared and I love. Yesterday, after waking up, because I was so tired walking for 15.2 kilometers. We spent about two hours rooming around different places within the, the city of Mati, giving gifts to our brothers and sisters whom we think were less fortunate. Some of them Muslim brothers and sisters, because we also went to 
several Muslim communities. And we say to them, Happy Holy Week, have a meaningful Holy Week, or if we think, if we are certain that they are Muslims, we say, Happy Ramadan. And that, that kind of experience, fasting, Lenten journey with the saints, giving or doing charitable works, doing El Camino. Right now today, I felt so blessed. And, and I'm very grateful to God for, for such a wonderful opportunity for me to share my life, my effort, my probably uh, plans in order to create a positive impact, a spiritual impact in the lives of other people. And I'm very grateful for the entire SRG team for creating that beautiful moment of grace for all of us to experience the holy celebration of Easter in a very meaningful way because we were able to create for them, our audience for the last 45 days, a beautiful and meaningful environment for them to appreciate on a daily basis the lives of the saints in relation to the celebration of Easter and the person of Jesus Christ. I firmly believe that those who are religiously and faithfully participating in our Lenten journey will have a very unique experience of Holy Week, of Lent, and of the celebration, or in the celebration of Easter Sunday. A spiritually enriched might be an understatement, there is this sense of renewal. There is this sense of new purpose. There is this sense of creating or having a commitment, a stronger commitment towards the church, towards the community, and a personal commitment to become a better person closer to the lives of the saints that we learn from our sharing every night for the last 45 days. So to the entire SRG community and family, I sincerely salute your generosity, your kindness. I mean, I have, while giving this reflection, I assume you have already participated an actual or a physical mass in your own parishes. And probably you heard beautiful reflections, homilies from your priests. And I don't intend to duplicate it. I just would like to share with you how blessed I am to journey with you, the SRG team, our speakers and facilitators, our participants, probably to some of you we do not know personally, we have not met yet, but I felt deeply connected with you because of our, our journey. And I think that's the beauty of the entire celebration of Lent, of the Holy Feast of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We claim that connection, connection among each other, but more importantly, connection with our God. 
And I hope and pray that I am correct. Our connection with God, with other people as our co-journeyers and the members of our respective family were enriched because of that fidelity, of that faithfulness that we have in observing the 45-day journey together with the saints. I hope, just like me, just like what I have experienced, I hope each one of us will have a better understanding of the value of the dignity of our own lives in the light of the life of the saints and in the light of our direction, of the direction of our journey towards God. Jesus Christ is risen. The recent Christ is the only reason why we were able to hear, learn, watch the life of the saints, the lives of the saints, and probably can explain why they can do it, why they chose death, why they cho chose to be missionaries, why they chose to love other people, why, why they, can, they are willing to exchange their lives for others, willing to be killed instead of others. Basically, for one and only reason, the reason Christ. In their lives, they are deeply convinced that, that God will be the driving force of their own journey. And I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, because of that witnesses or because of that people who dedicated fully their lives, at times offer their lives for the sake of their faith in Jesus Christ will provide us more reasons to be convinced that we too can also offer our lives to God in whatever status you are in your life right now. As a priest, as a sister, as a lay mother, as a lay father, as a single person, The resurrection of Jesus is the bottom line, the main reason, the core of why we do all these things and why those saints offered their lives for the sake of the kingdom. May we, in God's grace and by the power of this celebration of Easter. We have a renewed faith and commitment to offer and dedicate ourselves in the service of the church, in the service of God. Again, in whatever status you are in. Make that person in you the best and the most pleasing version of yourself in the eyes of God. May this Easter remove all doubts, remove all hesitations about following Jesus Christ, about doing what is right, about doing something good for other people. For the last 45 days, emotionally, physically, spiritually, psychologically, <coughs> we 
we were being prepared to embrace that moment of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope we can be happy, let's celebrate, na we were able to accomplish the 45 days, thanks be to God, without any single day that uh, we don't have a situation wherein uh, we don't have a speaker or there was disruption or any forms of <coughs> uh, difficulty. Behind the scene, there were people filling up, no? especially Dr. Glenda and others, we're making adjustments when it comes to our schedule because the original person assigned to be the speaker on that particular night is not available. Behind the scenes, there are challenges. There were challenges. But it gives us more reasons to be determined to make adjustments, to make innovations, to offer what we can offer to complete the entire package of the gift of God in a form of the 45-day journey with the saints. I hope, too, you are proud of what you have achieved, especially SRG team. Probably at one moment, or a few moments in your journey, you ask yourselves, is this really part of my job? Or is this not enough? Or is this not too much? 45 days? I could have done a lot of things aside from participating every 8 p.m. Philippine time. But if you ask me, it's worth, and I hope, and I hope, and I hope you will see the giftedness, the giftedness of that journey fully manifested in your life, especially the celebration of Easter. May you feel convinced Claim it that you are blessed because of our journey. You're a better person. You're somebody pleasing in the eyes of God because of such journey. And may that experience unleash the power within us to be willing and to embrace more journeys ahead in our lives and fully commit ourselves to serve God and to serve the people of God in his name. God bless us all. Happy, happy Easter to everyone. The, re the renewal of the baptismal promises replaces the profession of our faith. Maya, I could not, it's too, uh, it's too small for me. I could not read the text. Is there any chance I can, or you can make adjustments? Grippo Father. This father book. Dear brothers and sisters, 
Through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to a new life. Now that we have completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises we made in baptism when we rejected Satan and his works and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. And so, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Paano ba to? Uh, I, I could not see the entire picture because of the, the what do you call this? The, nasa gilid po kasi yung ano eh. Yung mga pictures natin. Kaya hindi ko siya mabasa completely or hindi ko siya mabview completely. Anong gagamitin ko? Standard or side by side or what? Standard, Father. Yeah, nasa standard ako but I could still... Yung dapat nasa taas sila lahat. Standard, no? Yes, Father. Hindi pa rin eh. Try pressing speaker, Father. Okay, na po. The resurrection of the Lord fills us with the sincere desire to live a new life, characterized by honesty, sincerity, purity, dedication, and love. Let us ask the Lord that this may become a reality for all of us as we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. that the community of believers may bear witness to Christ's resurrection through its example of continuous conversion from sin. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Holy Father, our Bishop, and all of our spiritual leaders may enjoy the consolation and peace that flow from Christ's resurrection. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who feel disheartened by the situations of violence, 
oppression and suffering may find its resurrection, the courage they need to continue their quest for a better society. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For spring rain global and its growing ecosystem, that it may be continuously blessed so that we all become a blessing to others. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the success of all collective initiatives of the SRG's PDO ecosystem, that the Lord bless the work of our hands and bring more people to share in his good work for the least, the last, and the lost. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the Spring Green Global Ecosystem, the SRG management and staff, the PDO directors and their staff, and all of our partners and donors, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the intentions of all the speakers and participants of the Spring Ring Global's 45 days of Lenten recollection, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the souls of our dearly departed and all the souls in purgatory, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, May the splendor of your Son's resurrection always illumine our lives, and may your, our thoughts, words, and actions bear witness to the new life you have given us. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the for your good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, with Easter joy, we offer you the sacrifice by which your church is reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father of powerful and living, ever living God, we do it always and everywhere to give you thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter day when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our deaths. By rising, he restored our life. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending theme of praise. <laughs> of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death you freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup, to thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Abel, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the religious. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest, especially those who are dear to the SRG family. In the hope of rising again, bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine mercy, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace be Thank you. 
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ. Anis vivus et vitalis, hodie My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though Thou wert already there, I embrace Thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Let us pray. Father of love, watch over your church and bring us to the glory of the resurrection promised 
by this Easter sacrament. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you have some announcements? Father, let us uh, pray the Litany of Saints as we offer the culmination of the Spring Ring Global 45 Days of Lenten Journey. We will now say the Litany of the Saints. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for pray. us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Artemid Zati, pray for us. Saint Andrew Kim, pray for us. Saint Magdalene of Nagasaki, pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc, pray for us. Saint Anthony Padua, pray for us. Saint William Melivelle, pray for us. Saint Josephine Baquita, pray for us. Saint Louise de Maria, pray for us. Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, pray for us. Saint Arnold Johnson, pray for us. Saint Maximilian Kobe, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Dominic Savio, pray for us. Venerable Teresita Albaracin, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Genevieve, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint John Mary Vianney, pray for us. Saint Nicholas of Tolentin, pray for us. Saint Anthony Mary Claret, pray for us. Saint Paul Miki, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. Saint Charles Borromeo, pray for us. Saint Thomas More, pray for pray. us. Saint Agnes Lee Tan. Pray for us. Saint Gemma Galgani. Pray for us. Saint Maria Gorete. Pray for us. Saint Rita of Kasha. Pray for us. Saint Dimphna. Pray for us. Saint Philip Van Van Min. Pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena. Pray for us. Saint Camillus de Lelis. Pray for us. Saint Magdalene of Canossa. Pray for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam. Pray for us. Saint Ezekiel Moreno. Pray for us. Saint Aloysius Gonzaga. Pray for us. Venerable Father Consuelo Barcelo E. Pages. Pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Let us pause for a moment of silence to be with the saints in heaven interceding for us.
Thank you everyone for joining us in celebrating the Holy Mass. Please join us in a while for a short program as we close our Lenten activity. And also thank you Father Victor for celebrating the Holy Eucharist. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you on this solemn feast of Easter, and may He protect you against all sin. Amen. Amen. Through the resurrection of His Son, God has granted us healing. May He fulfill His promises and bless you with eternal life. Amen. Amen. You have mourned for Christ's sufferings. Now you have celebrated the joy of his resurrection. May you come with joy to the feast which lasts forever. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.
You are the